There were some months that AF would come and she would be here for like six or eight weeks straight. And I had to do some Provera um, to stop or start cycles. So there was, you know, like I said, I've been going through anything and everything that you could possibly think of when it comes to my cycles over the past couple of years. Um, but anyway, so as soon as I stopped taking the Clomid, all my cycles, let's see, September, October, November, December, January, this is probably my fifth or sixth cycle off of Clomid and every cycle I've had has been anywhere from like 26 to 28 days. I had one month where it was 22 days but 26, 28 day cycles. I'm ovulating like cycle day anywhere from cycle day 10 to cycle day 15 like completely textbook you know everything that you read. My little phases have been completely normal. I've been getting positive OPKs. Um, when beforehand, and even when I was on Clomid, I wasn't ever, like, I would get positive some months, but ever since I stopped the Clomid, perfect textbook cycles, the right amount of days long, um, and positive OPKs every month, all of the symptoms of ovulation, um, and the only thing that's been really, really odd for me is that I haven't had... AF come here and be here more than three days. I have like a day of spotting either at the beginning or the end and then there's two days of very light flow and then it's gone. No cramping, no other symptoms. Never in my life have I ever had cycles like this before. And you know I'm not necessarily complaining because they've been so easy and free going but I know what my body is supposed to be doing and what it's been doing my entire life you know. And it's just very odd to me that I'm only having two and three day long periods. And I feel like it could be something to worry about because I know you're supposed to be, when, when AF comes, you're cleansing everything out of the uterus, you're getting all, all the old tissue and old, you know, stuff that was in there preparing for a pregnancy. And when the pregnancy didn't happen, it removes it and then you start all over again. So I'm really worried that maybe I'm I'm not doing that. Either I'm not building up a lining thick enough to get rid of or it's not getting rid of it and it's going to be too thick. So I don't I don't know. Um if anybody has any information about that, if anybody has experienced that, um if it's something I should worry about or not worry about, I really appreciate anybody feedback or comments or experiences or a friend of your friend's cousin, whoever, whatever you've heard. Um, I really, you know, appreciate some information if anybody has any because I can't really seem to find anything online because everything that I'm experiencing is normal um, or supposed to be normal for people. So it's, you know, I can't really find any like negative information on it. Um, and aside from that, uh, I had in my Clomid story um, that I did, the video on my Clomid uh, journey and what's happening with that, I had a ultrasound last Friday, was a follow-up ultrasound, um, transvaginal and then one on top. And I explained in that video that um, I had, they were, could not find my right ovary. And then on the left ovary, I had some cysts that were kind of um, not abnormal as in like cancerous or anything, but they were abnormally large. They were significantly larger than all the other cysts that I have. And so they, as a precautionary, wanted me to go back in six weeks and redo the test and um, just to see if it's grown and then to find my right ovary. Um, I did go have that test last Friday, like I said, and um, the girl who did it was very kind of cold and not friendly like she was nice she wasn't like rough with me but she didn't speak to me she was very like like I could tell that she didn't want to speak to me or answer any of my questions it was like she was there to do the test and leave and if I had any questions I needed to call my doctor that was the kind of situation that it was um when she first started doing the ultrasound I told her you know hey they couldn't find my right ovary last time do you see it she's like I haven't got to that yet and she was very like I kind of annoyed her by asking her that so I didn't ask her again and so they do the ultrasound and they go out they have a radiologist check it they come back in and then they either tell you whether they have to do the test if they have to do the ultrasound some more or you're done and basically she came in and said 
you can put your clothes back on. We'll fax the information to your doctor in three to five business days. Have a nice weekend. And she left. So I never found out that day whether they found the right ovary. And of course, they can't really give you any type of, um, they can't tell you any like specific information. You have to wait till your doctor calls you. So I had been doing a run around with my doctor's office because it seems that every single time someone calls me from there, it's a different person. Um, they don't know anything about me. They don't know what's going on. They have a note in a, you know, on a computer that says to call me or whatever. And it's super frustrating. Here it is Saturday, eight days since I've had the test and I haven't heard anything. I mean, they called me the middle of the week and said, hey, when are you going to get that test done? And I said, I had it done already. And they're like, well, we need a phone number so that we can call them and get your results. And I said, well, they informed me that they would be faxing everything to you. And they said, okay. Well, I waited three or four more days. And yesterday, Friday, a week, and I assumed the weekend, they weren't going to be in the office. So I would like to have my information on Friday, not Monday. I called. No one knew who I was. No one knew what I was talking about. They couldn't connect me to my doctor's nurse. They couldn't connect me to the station where my doctor was. Um, they were going to have somebody call me back. So I was on hold for like 15 minutes. Finally, someone came on and said, your doctor's not here today, and neither is her nurse. Um, what I can do is, if your test results are here, they'll be in medical records, and I can have another doctor look at them and call you back with the results. And I'm like, no. I just want to make sure that you even got my ultrasound results, because if you haven't, then I'm going to be calling the hospital that I had them done at and have them, you know, get on that. And if you do have them, Okay, I can wait until my doctor has the time to sit down and look at them and then give me a phone call. I don't want a stranger who has no idea why I even went for the test in the first place or in, in know anything about me at all to look at my ultrasound and then give me a phone call. And I just, I wasn't comfortable with that. And so here it is Saturday. I still haven't heard anything back. My doctor is supposed to be in the office today for half a day and it is noon now. I haven't heard anything. So I don't know when the results are going to be back. I was really hoping that they measured my uterine lining so that I could see if maybe what I'm suspecting with these short periods is that is really happening is that I'm not getting rid of what I'm supposed to or I'm not making enough to begin with. It's frustrating, but as soon as I get the results, as soon as I hear from my doctor and I get a game plan, I definitely will be making a video for that. It's going to be uh, like a my Clomid story part two follow up. Um, hopefully to give anyone who was interested in the first part of the story or anyone who's experiencing the same things as me um, kind of an end result uh, what's going to happen if I'm just going to live with these cysts if I'm just going to live with the pain or if there is some kind of course of treatment for it or I don't know well I think that's all that I wanted to go over today um, just let everyone know that I did not get my BFP last cycle that I've started the next cycle that I have started temping um, and I've been doing pretty good so far. Three days in, I'm doing all right. I actually didn't end up printing up the um, charts offline. I ended up just using the Ovia app that I talked about in the last video. Um, it has a tracker and a chart on it. So it's actually a little bit easier for me to just roll over grab the thermometer, then pick up my phone and type in the temperature than it is to make a little dot on a chart on a table. And it's just, it's just been more convenient for me. Um, and then it also, you know, gives me the exact same result as a chart would. And then I'm, I, like, this is my first time using it for that. So I'm hoping that maybe it'll give me some insights on that as well. It'll help bring all the other symptoms together. It can start you know, really getting a hold of my cycles and what's going on with them. And then we can maybe pinpoint when the baby dance a little bit better, me and the app working together, you know, to make a baby. <laughs> so um, if anybody has any questions, go ahead and comment below. Um, I appreciate every support so far. Um, I thought that if I had one person that I didn't know that wasn't family or a friend watch my videos that that would be the most amazing thing ever and I've had so many people subscribe already to me and 
so many people messaging me with kind words and their own stories and you guys just have no idea how much that means to me so far. I mean it's just been so awesome and I really appreciate it and it really helps with the two week wait and this whole process of waiting for the doctor and everything that's going on. This is like a really awesome distraction and if anybody out there is contemplating on whether or not they want to film their story, I say do it because I put it off for so long, procrastinated for so long and now it is like just a little part of my life and it makes me so happy and it takes up you know just the right the right amount of time and I've really enjoyed it so far and I really enjoy everybody's comments and stories so thank you and if you're not subscribing go ahead and do it because I'm really hoping to get a video up at least once twice a week and keep everyone updated and thank you for watching <laughs>